Back to Boosted Motion, and today I'm with her. Um, the reason why I am here is I'm gonna try to reinstall this Meg Instruct Bar. Um, I posted on the Q50, Q60 groups to see who else also got this product. Um, it's been verified that it doesn't fit on the hybrids at all because there's a tank and everything out the way, so you may have to relocate the relocate that. Also, there's other people verified that they got it installed on the Q50 3.0T like mine. So I'm gonna re try to install this guy. Damn, damn. Why I'm doing this installation video is because I got in contact with a third party I'm a vendor. I'm not gonna put their name out there because they're just a the seller of the product. They said that they need pictures, videos, and everything of what's wrong. So I'm just gonna make another quick installation video for them, and then they can link and see, you know, what's really going on. Because other people have been confirmed to install this on a 3.0 TQ50. So um, I'm just hopefully, hopefully seeing if it's just maybe mine is defective and I might could just send them back mines and they'll send me out new one that may be not defective. So we'll see. Once again, I'm back to the, what the? Ah, oh, I forgot to reinstall the other bolt from last time. I've been driving around two weeks like this. Oh guys, always double check your install. Anyways, um, once again, you remove these 12 millimeter bolts to the strut mount and that's what I'm gonna do now. On the passenger side, remember there's a harness. Guys, I'm gonna put a card up here to take a look and see how to do this thorough, slow, little slow, but because I already did this install in a previous video, I'm just gonna breeze through it. I'm gonna move this harness, and here's the thing. This is the second time I kinda stripped this bolt. So I'm gonna have to try to get that off. Oh, this is so annoying. Quick product review today, guys. I'm using this grip tight socket. You use this when you have stripped uh, nuts or bolts, and in this case, this will be a bolt, a nut. So I'm gonna try this product out. I've had it for a while. This is an essential and it really works, so I'm gonna attack it right now. Get back to this passenger bracket. All right, so from the last video, I had no problem in bolting everything up at all. Everything bolted right up. The biggest issue I had is that bar coming across. It sat up too high and this hood could not close. So I wanna make this as quick as video I can. Move all the harnesses out the way. Remember, this is not necessarily an installation video, but because I'm doing it again, I want you guys to know what you're doing. All right, that's this bracket supposed to be. Bolts aren't the bolts aren't bolted all the way in yet, but I wanted to take a look at this. You see how that hole is kind of off centered? You see this? This could be also another reason why my installation could be going wrong, because if I move it this way, move it this way, the bar is going to be a lot closer. But if I move it this way backwards, it gives me. That's probably another five to 10 millimeters of length for the bar. So I'm gonna try my best to bolt it in more at a far angle, such as this, rather than in. The bolts are in. I did not bolt it all the way down because I don't wanna tighten it and have to run retighten it. Uh, let me give it a shot, let's see. All right, one, two, three, let's see if Four. All right. Okay. Bars here, and that's it. No more. That's it. My bar does not want to close. See, there's nothing on the left, nothing on the right. We're going all the way down. Let's try it again. Let's see. What do you think I'm missing, guys? I tried to realign the bar. I, I mean, I tried to, uh, you know, the bar sits properly. I flipped it both ends. What could it be? Oh, man, this is another failed install. Maybe they sent me a bar. This bar is bent too much. I don't know. Maybe if the bar was more bent on this end, on this end, it hits right here from what I can see. This goes straight across. Maybe the bar that they sent me was supposed to be bent a little bit here because it's hitting here. If it was bent more right here and right here, we'll probably have a different story going on right now. What I try to do, guys, what I end up doing is bending it more on this edge so it could uh, kind of have a bit of a different slant. Take a look. See how it's sitting a little lower now? 
So I don't know if it came pre-packaged this way. Yes, just don't pay attention to this. It's, it's literally the same lift, but I'm pretty much bending both edges because after numerous emails with the vendor and a bunch of pictures, I'm just going to try to get it installed. Um, the first video I failed, but maybe in, the case, in this case, it just came up bent from factory. But also, what I noticed about this bracket is, you see how this hole is lining up? Now, when I first got it, this whole bar was was literally longer than the bracket. Like, it, like they didn't fit in none of the holes. It didn't fit in this hole, and it didn't fit in that hole. So in this case, it's still this way. So I'm, what I realized is, is when I, every time when I tried to put it in both ends, these two holes right here, this one and this one, don't match up. See, this one is this way. Let me see if I can show you guys this one, this side. But in this hole, I could bolt it right in perfectly fine. So, I don't know if this is bent. Well, it's sent to me from bent, but, uh, you know, mistakes happen in the manufacturing process. You can even kind of tell. All right, guys, I got both bolts in. Wasn't too hard. This is a long process. Sorry for the wind, everybody. Now, pay attention to this. I could just unscrew this from here and flip it, and it'll say Megan. I don't even want to really produce their, pretty much make a video about their uh, product at this point, but I'm going to bolt it all in. These brackets are already bolted in. And, uh... Uh, let's see what happens now. Oh, success. Wait, hold on, guys. Wait, hold on. Let's take a see if the hood could open. I had to kind of push it closed, but not to the point that I know something's going to break. But based on the lines on this side, it looks fine. And let me see if it pops open pretty good. Pops open. Let's take a look and see. All right, she is in. She is in. All right. Now, I'm going to give a product review finally after my second try. <sighs> Overall, I give this install a f uh, on a hardness scale because mine was difficult about a 7. Because I didn't have the time to come back and check it out. But here are some of the things that I don't like about this strut bar install. One, let's take a look here. The bracket for the AC line. It's not hitting the AC line at all. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's not hitting the AC line at all. And even if it moves back and forth, it doesn't hit the bracket. But it's so close. These guys, you can see, I don't like that. Um, second, maybe it was just my bracket. The way that this hole is set up, this bracket, this side with this hole, and this side over here, if you look at early earlier part of the video, this bracket was more pushed in. So I had to push this bar more towards in this direction and try to my best to slide the, the bolt in from um, this side and then catch the nut on this side. That's pretty much how I even got this even installed. Now, this side, this is just havoc here over here, complete havoc. Um, this bracket right here is what holds this harness right, this harness and it pretty much, if you're going to keep this, remove this bracket, which I'll probably do later, or probably won't even remove it at this point. It's not really hitting anything crucial. Hitting the metal plate right here, and down there, it's just hitting against the bar bracket itself. Um, some people would recommend removing this bracket that holds the other part of the harness, but in my case, I choose not to remove it. I really don't care too much because it's not hitting this my bracket at all, and it still has a harness on it, so... I'm not gonna pay that any attention. I don't like the fact that this is just lying around. I'm gonna zip tie this somewhere. I could have put it under the bar, but I didn't like it going through this small little galley here area, rubbing against stuff. So I'd rather be over here out of the way. It doesn't really move around that much. Um, and also, part of the bracket over here I dislike too, because it almost touching the strut mount tower over there. Don't like that. And I think this is overall, this is just a very oblong strut bar. Is it necessarily centered? Actually, honestly, I don't even know if it's centered because, because it bolts up to this bolt and that bolt. And this one bolts up to this bolt and that bolt. So they're kind of opposite. This bolt should be here, but I guess they wanted to make it a little easier. I think they should have just went with an easier install to make it easier for everyone else. Um, I would I necessarily, for the price at the cheapest straw bar that's out there right now, don't pay attention to this. I'm just going to flip this 
I think I'm screwed here. Flip it back over. But at this point, do I necessarily would recommend this? Oh, yeah, this is a great uh, product. Uh, yes, I've driven the car already. So take a look at this card right here. I'm going to show you uh, my review on that. But as of right now, I for 90 bucks, if it comes, the fitment comes out great, then it's a steal. But if you have to go through what I went through, it's kind of a headache. But can it work? Yes, it can. And, uh, you know, guys, uh, it was just a bit annoying. Uh, sorry for making y'all got, guys go through all this crucial monetary, leave this monologue. But uh, I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe. Leave the negative comments, too. I read them all. I try my best to help grow this community. Just give the information I can. Also, from these little installs from Strut Bar to Rear Sway Bar. Next, I'm looking into possibly installing adjustable Rear Sway Bar links. Um, and I do have coilovers for this car, so I will be doing a DIY install for coilovers and pretty much to help people that want to know how to remove struts. So please just like if you can, subscribe, please, please, please. I really appreciate it. I really want to grow this channel, really want to grow this community, and you guys have an amazing day.